all right all right guys and welcome back to my channel for a world review now this beautiful world that we are in is the world known as nothing other than angel city um this beautiful world it's on a massive lot i mean a massive map it's on the largest one and it comes well I don't know exactly how many lots it comes with offhand but I promise you that all of that information is in the description box below what I am here to do is give you a, a virtual tour so to speak of this world just so as if your sims would like to relocate somewhere else then I would be happy to show them around here <laughs> okay um this world uh has everything from i don't believe it has isla paradiso i mean um into the future or isla paradiso i'm absolutely not sure but i do know that it um requires a lot of expansion packs oh yes it does because there's a port right here up to East Lake Paradiso and possibly into the future as well but um, if you're new to one of these types of videos or at least my version of these types of videos what I'm going to do is show you a few residential lots a few community lots and then I will let you be the judging factor on whether or not you would like to have this world um, installed in your game okay um, so the first thing that I can say is I have edited this world just a little bit, mainly this area over here. Um, these are, well, this one was a 64 by 64 lot, and these are 40 by 40 lots, which are perfect for the venues that come up the game, say like the toy store, the art prism studio, the stone's throw garden, and well, this one is the golden palm casino, but the lucky casino lucky Samoans casino would fit perfectly there as well so um let me take you to the best lot first of all let's kick this off with a banger and why you should have this world in your game bam right here first of all look at this parking lot Shoosh, who is driving this car oh snap oh i didn't even plan this guys but this is one sexy car being driven by one sexy dude he looks like he's about to head to the beach and get it popping but as you can see there is a lovely lot over here and you can see that it uses a lot of custom content so if you I mean um store content sorry not custom content but store content except for the ferris wheel that's pretty custom to me <laughs> um but i love it this is the pear i believe let's see what it's officially called the desert diner i don't know what the pear is called though um let's just call it the pear okay we have um two different roller coasters i'm sorry let me let it load right here first of all look at this parking lot who is driving this car oh snap oh I didn't even plan this guys but this is one sexy car being driven by one sexy dude he looks like he's about to head to the beach and get it popping but as you can see there is a lovely bam right here first of all look at this parking lot who is driving this car oh snap oh I didn't even plan this guys but this is one sexy car being driven by one sexy dude. He looks like he's about to head to the beach and get it popping. But as you can see, there is a lovely lot over here. And you can see that it uses a lot of custom content. So if you, I mean, um, store content, sorry, not custom content, but store content, except for the Ferris wheel. That's pretty custom to me. <laughs> um but i love it just call it the deer okay All right, so here we have a roller coaster it's just one roller coaster i do believe 
Yep, but this shows so much creativity. It has a little hot dog stand, photo booth, ticket machine, um, um, a greeting card booth, skateball machines underneath like these little awnings as to make it seem like the carnival games like in real life. I'm sorry, let me go up and calm down a little bit. And as you pan over, we have um, just this right here in itself is really creative um they have the love tester um a few grab claw machine games and um all in one bathrooms and this is a piece of custom content i guarantee it <laughs> a ferris wheel no your sims cannot use it it's just decorated it's a light <laughs> um and also what else did i see oh and this little drop top drop top this seems like the drop tower game like the thing that you get on and it comes down and you scream your little head off yeah that um also um of course you have the diner which actually fits lovingly on here rock climbing walls water arenas this little thing that i've never known what it's been called ever since the sims 2 sorry um and inside this building i think they have skating yep they had a skating rink which you can change in the winter if you wanted to to an ice skating rink um but this is where the ticket uh holding i'm so sorry i'm trying to be efficient but it's it's a little hard the ticket machine allows access to the skating rink inside okay now on to the next lot All right guys and this awesome lot here is the stop and charge gas station it's attached to a grocery store this is the grocery store that comes with university life and the gas pumps and things that are used over here come with fast lane. There we go. And I really thought that this was freaking sweet. Like, and when, like, during the day, there are actually Sims that will be on this lot, and you don't really see a car here, but you can put a car spot right here in front of it so like if your sims do visit the gas station they'll park over here and it'll look like they're getting gas um just small details like that make worlds so much better and so much more unique and i thank the creators 10 times over for just blessing us with this world it's really freaking amazing um if you can't tell by my excitement i wish you could like come up here what if you come up here and just start dancing on the rooftop like party over here ooh, ooh. um but now nah, there's a gate right in front of the ladder <laughs> um i've never noticed that before by the way um but yeah this is a rabbit hole so you can't really see in it so on to the next slot all right guys to be perfectly honest with you Lots like this were the entire reason why I personally wanted this world. I wanted something that um, fit more of a Grand Theft Auto type theme. And if you've ever played Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, you cannot tell me that this doesn't look like one of those houses in the neighborhood right by the ballist territory. Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> um, got the Mitch. Ooh, I'm so sorry. You have the Mitch Max chairs, the bucket outside, the rusted table, the um, awning or carport where you leave your car at, a trampoline in the back, and the, the terrain paints, not terrain paints, but the wallpaper that have been used make all the difference, all of the difference, seriously. So let's take a look inside of the first residential house and i believe this is a starter home uh that your sims can uh purchase as soon as they move 
into the world. <laughs> okay, shy, get it together. Look at this. Like, come on now. You can't tell me this wasn't pulled right out of the game. The raggedy furniture, the green carpet. If you've ever done that mission where you had to go inside the house. Yeah. Yeah, like where you go inside the crack house and like you can just kill everybody in there. I'm sorry, I'm just not going to talk about the bad stuff. <laughs> there is a single bed bedroom over here, which can fully equip a double bed and two more dressers. So um, space won't be too tight for a starter family. This can also be converted into a bedroom if necessary or just a study. You can totally revamp this house um, and let your sims update it as they go. But seriously, guys, look at that dingy floors, the dingy stoves and sinks. Like, oh my god, it really looks like the paint is chipping. It's, it's amazing. It truly is. And the little backyards that are... Um, infamous in the game with the wash machine and dryer in the back. Okay, look at that. The dirty trampoline because it's been out and it's rusted. Small little details you guys know drive me crazy like like this. I, I would never think to put anything like this, but that's why I don't build worlds and I leave it to the professionals. <laughs> On to the next house. Okie dokes, my artichokes. But if your sims are not out for roughing it and working their way up to the top because they've already done that or have had help by mother load, amongst other things, then they have an abundance of houses up in the hills area in which they can live in the lap of luxury and be surrounded by those that do so as well. This house, however, um, is just like a personal favorite of mine. Not sure why. Probably a whole nostalgic thing. Probably like the driving, the driveway, how it starts at the gate, and at the garage, three door garage, by the way, with a car park in front. Your Sims will definitely have a blast in here. You don't believe me? Just watch as we take a little look inside. Like, but seriously, just before, just, just look at this one more time. Like, gosh, would your Sims not kill to live in a place like this? Mine's would. <laughs> you get it, kill, San Andreas. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. Now, let's start from the, nah, I'll show you guys the backyard first. You have a faux tennis court over here which I love. I, that's one thing that they never added in The Sims that I kind of wish they did. Especially since you can make things like this just by using things that come inside of the game. Um, that would have been great to have like Sims running back and forth playing tennis in the summertime, <sighs> sipping lemonade at the table, or going over here to take a dip in the pool, or relaxing by the pool. Coming out, and you have an outdoor shower. I think it's hidden away down here. Yep. Okay, well, it's not an outdoor shower. It's an indoor shower. A faux outdoor shower. With a stall right there. So, this, one, once more. Like, little details like this, I would have never, ever, ever thought to do. Like, Ever. I still can't think about it. Still, it's just not for me. <laughs> you come out and roast some weenies, but this pool ooh, is definitely something to brag about. A guitar pool, as you can tell. Yes, this entire pool is shaped like a guitar with a hot tub as the top of it. Oh my gosh. How creative is that? <laughs> okay, I'm losing my mind here. Let's go inside at least. Okay. I have you, can you tell that I haven't been in this house yet? And I regret it so much. <laughs> okay, so you have a study right here. Not bad. Um, there is a closet, I'm guessing, right here, connected to a bathroom, which must be connected to a room. Yep, it's connected to an indoor gym, equipped with a dance floor. 
um, no belly bar, but you could add that if you so wanted to. Um, what's on this side? You just have these little teeny tiny like wardrobes for the bathroom and for the yeah like okay. This layout is like totally confusing me. So the office has a powder room connected to a possible wardrobe which is connected to a bathroom, which is connected to another powder room, which is connected to another possible wardrobe, which is connected to the bed bedroom. Okay. And this bedroom is not the master bedroom by any means. That's probably the, <laughs> the guest bathroom. This bedroom right here would definitely be the master. The one that has the flat screen TV and the more... Uh, elegant bed I would probably say um, oh look at these double doors I never thought to put these double doors on my um, master bedroom oh my gosh the wardrobe is beautiful and then you have the hallway to a his and hers closet this could be hers this could be his more than likely this is hers <laughs> With all the extra clothing in it. And then they have their own private ensuite bathroom, shower, and tub with a private toilet room. I'm starting to think that they do that because when people go and make stinkies, they don't want to stink up the whole room. So, yeah. And another powder room as well. So, not bad. But if you totally wanted to make this another room, since it doesn't connect by either of those you could probably knock down that wall and turn that into a little room or a little nook if you so chose to do um yeah so let's go downstairs and let's find the entrance of the house first which is right here you come in and there's an all white little sitting area nice with a uh built-in bar or so to speak that's what it really looks like probably was meant to be you could throw in a bar back here or the little shelving and throw in a bar right here and just make it work and turn this into a full-fledged entertainment area but this kitchen is marvelous with oh, wow it doesn't have that much room to add you know the Monte Vista stove or the baker station or anything like that but I doubt that whoever lives here wouldn't just hire a butler and just order anything they want. <laughs> you have a game room or a family room, entertainment room. Oh my goodness gracious, I would have never thought of this. This this world review is going to be turning into things that Shani's will never think of. <laughs> like Seriously, a little sectional. Like you add a booth to your own house as a dining table. That's popping. Shuffleboard, um, huge fish tank. You can way you can put a way bigger TV in here. There's one that comes with the Sims 3 store. You should check it out. One, so let's see what else we have here. This is a big house. This is a beautiful formal formal dining room. This centerpiece is exquisite. It's a little big, so I probably would have never thought to put it there, but hey, that's why I'm not a builder. I'm just a buyer. <laughs> and here's a small music entertainment room. Can play the grand piano, have the grandparents sit and watch their child, prodigy, son or grandson or granddaughter, as well as it's equipped to be a library. This house is really freaking huge, but the layout is pretty sweet. Oh, Okay. Oh, they have a studio. That's a round of applause from me. This house has an indoor studio. Music moguls, if you have a simmer that's, in, oh, I'm sorry, a sim that's like level 10 in the singing career, this is the house for them. They can practice, they can record songs and everything. I have no, oh my God. Oh my gosh, seriously, where do people be? Like, all right, come on. Can I get some of the creative juice that they've been drinking? Seriously, man. 
And I'm pretty sure these would be like the gold records that they've earned. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So yeah, it's a three-door garage. And it has a, a, a broken TV. Which, I mean, a broken refrigerator. Not broken, but it's faced the opposite way. Which is um, acting as a water heater or maybe a... Um, some type of some type of garage appliance but connecting it like that wow like superb this by far if I ever wanted um, my family to live in a massive house I don't even have to go back on the sense resource this is the house for me seriously I'm gonna close this up and we're gonna see you at the next lot okay. and I'm so we're back and right off the exit of their freeway you see that girl on the freeway oh my gosh i can't wait like once you get off the exit they have this beautifully built building it's a lounge it's like a high-rise lounge technically so let's see what this looks like inside mm -hmm. whoa 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 okay so it's um just one floor not bad i believe Yep, one floor, built like a safari or something. Yeah, it's like an inside adventure. This is called the Bonaventure Lounge. Oh, okay. So you come in, you have two beautiful fountains filled with lilies. A real safari looking type thing. Like if you went to a resort, I feel like this is a room that they would have just for a lounge. Seriously, this thing is amazing. They have the speakers built into the bar. <sighs> Tiki lamps and wicker everywhere really sets the vibe. Oh, look at this. They have like little umbrellas, little, is this a pool? No, it's a fountain. Little fountains. Wow, this place is really nice there's a nice little dance floor over here um and a hot tub sweet now this hot tub is like i like it i like i really really like the way that it's set up i really do this is how you incorporate all of the items that you buy from the store you build different lots like this um they have an open bathroom, no doors. You just come back here and pick a stall, come out, wash your hands. Wow, the open concept of it is really unique, and I love it. So, bam, that's that, and let's head over to the next lounge. Well, the next lot, at least. <laughs> All right, my lovelies, this is the almost last line I have one more after it this is the SFPS jogging track once again of course you know by now that I would have never thought to do anything like this ever um, it's football soccer jogging it's crazy if you put um, well, you don't have to add the soccer ball here because, you know, they have the nets. But if you just put a few footballs on here and let the Sims come over and start playing catch. If you go to Mod the Sims, they have the jogging markers that you can place down. And once you visit this lot, if you have those markers in place, you just click on the ground and your Sims can choose the jog. And if you have it go in the circle, your Sims will literally jog the circle and gain their creative skill like that so that could be something for your sims to do especially if you incorporate the NROS uh, that adds different clubs and after school programs if your sim is in the sports club or something like that they can come out here with their club buddies and just hang out on a weekend you never know right that was just something that I, I thought was really cool and I kind of just wanted to show you guys all right Okay, so the last lot isn't that grand of a lot, but it is so worth it. This is the one and only beach lot. You know, it's not the only, only, only one because you can make other ones, but this one is my favorite. So, as you can see, it's beach, 
but it's set up so it looks so active you know you have a bonfire that's been put out you have um of course a lifeguard house they actually built one like they put it on a platform built the walls around it gave them a window and put the chair in there so your sims can join the lifeguard career sit in here and be perfectly fine happy and normal they will be out of the sun because they are in a room and they'll still do their jobs and they're not that far away from the beach as so nobody will drown these are lots that i like when i play with certain careers because you know certain careers need more efficient lots they also have seashells on the beach that your sons can come and find also as if they needed anything else they have um i don't even know what this is right here that's being right here but i i don't know they have some grill and picnic areas coolers your sons can't interact with those coolers but they can i think they can sit on them possibly they have a workout area now if you've been to la or if you've uh been or have seen venice beach venice beach has a workout area that's caged in sort of like this they have uh, treadmills and pull-up bars and workout machines they have bathrooms over here, two all-in-ones, in case your sons get sweaty or try to go make a little stinky. I do like it, how it's been rusted a little bit, how they use the um, aluminum-type paneling. And the, the I think the mirror is really what did it for me because you... I'm so sorry about moving this like that. I am truly sorry, guys. But, you know, if you go to a... Um, a beach or somewhere like that the um the mirrors will have stickers and scratches and things like that so that was really really a great look for whoever thought of this they oh yeah he he, he did the dang thing he did the dang thing and of course if you get a little hungry you got a soda in the snack machine right at the edge of the beach um you may not want to come over to this part of the water and try swimming, being as though it's um, the waste, but which goes right into the ocean. It's a little concerning, but, you know, not too many people care. You see people still bring out their nice little speedboats. Somebody left it there, though. <laughs> it might have been when I reset everything momentarily, but your sons can also come over here and purchase a vehicle or they can simply go boating and they can rent boats i believe this is because i have a mod in my game that allows your sims to rent the boats and when they're done they place them back so you don't have to buy the forty five thousand dollars speed boat you can rent it for a hundred and twenty dollars for the day thirty dollars for the paddle boat and the whole family can come to the beach and literally have a great time. So I know this review has been a little bumpy, but I'm not perfect. I'm never going to be, and the harder I try, the worse off I am. But I do want to thank you guys for watching this. And um, the links and everything will be in the description box below. Don't be afraid to rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like when I do a next um, world review because I will be doing one before the summer is over let me know if you want to see more residential lots if you want to see more community lots um, what type of lots do you want to see would you want me to you know take a quick peek inside the salons because everything looks so different the creators really put unique touches and feels into it um around the city you'll see little benches with maps and things it looks like um bus um bus stops and things like that little teeny tiny details like that make the gameplay so much more um interesting and it makes it um it gives you a different environment if you play the same old world you get to know them and they you you have to edit a lot of lots and things like that and these you just take them and go and they're usually 
perfect. I don't know why they have hidden room makers. But see, the salon has a tanning booth. Like, little things like that, okay? <laughs> All right, guys. But, um, yeah, that is it. Um, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. I'm out. Rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. I'm pretty sure I said all of that. Sorry. Um, so, you know what? I'm going to give you guys one more lot before I log off. And it's going to be the Just In Case insurance, insurance Center. You get it? Just In Case. But it's Just In Case. <laughs> it's the library and it's um, a penthouse library. I don't even know how they even managed to build something like this. But the first three, well, it's two floors, but you can tell by the windows, it's three floors. Um, they work by elevator. Yes, yes, it does. Up here is like um, literally an insurance center. You have your cubicles and um, little lounge area over here. Oh, is he coming to work? Colin Murphy. If you have uh, the rugs from my The Sims, the, the what are they, like the rabbit hole rugs, you can place a business center rug in here and have your Sim come over here, play on the computer, and since they're still on the lot, they will be technically at work, and you can enjoy different buildings just like this. Um, the bottom is just like a, um, a level, uh, I mean a lobby. Thank you. It's just a lobby. It's just like you come into a business office. It's probably going to be a security guard right there. And you walk around to the elevator. Takes you up the floor. And this is the library. So your sims can just come and read and study up and things like that. But there's also um, different ways that you can add a different library. Or um, another lot where you can go and study. And they have lots for kids. It's 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 a great lot. I mean, it's a great world, and I I really do recommend this. So I'm signing off now. As I say, and I always 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 will. Happy swimming, and have a very summer big day. Bye, guys.